Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pumpkin Beer Week Part 2. And today, guys, we're looking at one that a lot of you suggested on, on the Beer Geek Nation Facebook page. I'm not able to get their stuff, so you guys sent it to me. And this one is from Schlafly. This is their pumpkin ale coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. It seems to me, based on the description, it's basically you know another imperial style pumpkin ale in vain of Southern Tears Pumpkin or Weyerbacher's Imperial Pumpkin Ale. So a lot of you guys say this is actually better than Southern Tears Pumpkin. So that's living up to a big name. So let me get into a glass that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Schlafly Pumpkin Ale. All right guys, so the appearance on the Schlafly Pumpkin Ale, what well, lives up to that imperial pumpkin style, you know, it's that orange verging on a dark uh, red. Crystal clear, I can see right through it. There is a decent amount of carbonation, pretty lightly carbonated though. There wasn't much head to it. The head that was there was kind of an off-white, again a khaki uh, type of head. Little, little bubbles on this one dissipating pretty quickly, but there is some nice head lacing on this one. Definitely getting some alcohol legs on this one um, at 8%, you know, not to be unexpected. Yeah, just a pretty classic looking pumpkin ale. All right, the aroma on the Schlafly Pumpkin Ale. Wow, massive, massive amounts of cinnamon, nutmeg. There's a really, really sweet kind of breadiness to it. It almost smells like cinnamon toast. Maybe even a little bit of vanilla. I don't believe they're using it, but there's definitely kind of a vanilla type of sweetness to it, a biscuity. Uh, kind of malty sweetness in there. Wow, just a really, really good smelling beer. I mean, it smells like baking pumpkin pie. Nice stuff. All right, guys, the taste on the Schlafly Pumpkin Ale. Cheers. Wow, that's awesome. See right at the front of the tongue, big, big cinnamon spice. And it's not like that uh, kind of almost sour cinnamon. It's a really sweet cinnamon, nutmeg and clove kind of playing off the sweetness from the malt that you immediately get. Middle of the mouth, it's making my mouth water. Middle of the mouth, you get a big, big, sweet, malty body to this one. Again, there's a sweetness, almost like a vanilla, uh, vanilla bean type of sweetness in there. Getting big hints of cinnamon, nutmeg, and that clove, that pumpkin pie spice just shining through. I mean, it tastes exactly like a fresh pumpkin pie smells like when it's baking in the oven. Nice sweet aftertaste on this one. Um, a little bit of a bready, kind of biscuity aftertaste, playing off that cinnamon sweetness, playing off the nutmeg. Just just a really, really well-crafted beer at 8%. You don't taste that at all. The spices blend perfectly with the sweetness on this one. Just an awesome, awesome pumpkin beer. I guess the final verdict on the Schlafly Pumpkin Ale, 8% alcohol by volume. It is a limited release and it's hard to find from what I understand because it is so popular. Guys, I'm gonna give this one an A. This is like one of the top two pumpkin beers I ever had. It's up there with pumpkin easily. I think. The one big difference for me and the one thing that kind of puts pumpkin over the top is that that uh, pumpkin pie crust flavor, that graham cracker flavor that you get in pumpkin. This on the other hand has a much more sweeter kind of spicy profile. It almost mimics pumpkin pie more so than I think pumpkin Pumpkin does. Try to say that five times fast. There's a nice bready, malty sweetness to this one. A little bit of like a vanilla type of sweetness. Big cinnamon, nutmeg spice. If you don't like pumpkin pie, you're gonna hate this beer because I mean, it tastes again like liquid pumpkin pie. And at eight percent, brings a nice warming kind of feeling to it. Just an unbelievably well-crafted pumpkin beer, and I'm really glad I got to try it. I'm glad you guys recommended it. Definitely, definitely awesome stuff. Getting an A for me, an easy A. So with that said, folks, remember life's too short. Drink me some beers. Cheers.